take a little break, and then I finally make it across to the other side. I kind of sneak up on it. Yeah, I do. <laughs> well, after what I heard you ate at Sambo's last night, I'm shocked you can even make it across that what? bridge. You care to run that down for the folks? Well, Miss Elbow over there. She always takes such great care of me. Obviously, to all the drivers and everybody that goes there to eat. And, of course, I love crab cakes. So I had a couple of crab cake sandwiches, and I'm not talking about, you know, like, little bitty, their right. things are huge. I had 20 boiled shrimp and great big ones. Uh, I had a, a, a bowl of uh, coleslaw, order of french fries, and then she would not let me leave until I had strawberry shortcake. Wow. So, uh, you know, I slept really well last night. Sambo's is in, what is it, Leipzig? Yeah, I'm aware. Just Lip just north of the racetrack, right That's behind. The right way, I call it lipstick, but I think it's yeah, probably well. you're closer than I am. And uh, it's a favorite of everybody when we come to Delaware. Yeah, it was packed full of drivers and crew yeah. members last night. Brian Newman was there, Casey Kane. Uh, some people were having a birthday party. Saw Mike Bliss, Jason Keller. I don't know. They spread the newspaper out on the, uh, on the tables and just... Pour the food out there and clean up. Casey Kane, I don't reckon he had ever been there. Already. He had never eaten a crab before. And, and somebody, they showed him how a couple of times. And all you could hear is sound like a woodpecker over there pecking on something. <laughs> <laughs> and then he'd just kind of sit there and look at it like, now what do I do? It is a little intimidating the first time. That's why I get the crab cakes. I, they just let them They're all done. done. Yeah. I'm with you. Jimmy Johnson, fifth fastest. There's Casey. There he is. He had a big old, had a big old platter of crab last night. Now, you know, when we beat race teams up or operations up, we always want to make sure and, and point out something good. For the first time, Richard Petty Motorsports, with this nine car, they have showed up here this weekend with that new Dodge engine. So we'll see how things go. I'm going to tell you, he had a great race car at Lowe's Motor oh, yeah. Speedway last week. But let's talk about this new Dodge engine package a little bit because... This is not simply a matter of pulling out the old engine and dropping the new one in in its place. This is a very involved and, let's add, very expensive proposition to do this changeover. You know, Larry, as we look at this rear wing, uh, one of the things that the, some of the guys are saying that they'd like to see NASCAR do is see how close it, it actually touches almost the deck lid right there. And it's not, it doesn't have much of an angle on it. Now, it does have the wicker bill across the top right there. But what the teams are saying is they, they can raise that wing up about an inch. Then you can get air not over, over underneath it, but uh, over the top of it, you get air underneath of it, and that's what makes a wing more effective. Plus, it's not at much of an angle. I mean, uh, if you could actually angle that up a little bit more, and it, it, you could you could blow the rear tires out if you put enough angle on. Yeah, right now NASCAR says zero to 16 degrees, which I think most teams uh, run 16 degrees. 